Land is the center of life to native people. Most of our land has been taken, and few of our people remain. I really don't think that the majority of the members of Congress understood exactly what the issue was. Energy corporations want the resources under Indian land. 100 million barrels of oil, 25 trillion cubic feet of natural gas, 80 billion pounds of uranium, and 50 billion tons of coal. And if necessary, the native people will be sacrificed. In 1974, Congress passed a law ordering Navajo off their land. More than 75% of the Navajo relocatees will be condemned to a life of misery, poverty, and alienation. Relocation is, is harsh and it's unusual and so on. People get relocated in America every day. Uh, the interstate highway system, uh, they go through your living room with a bulldozer. Somebody sometimes has to give up what they don't want. Those were native people's lands, and I think the problems that we're now seeing would not have arisen had it not been for the conduct of the United States. Most people back in Washington could not presume to understand what was happening out here in the corner of Arizona. White man doesn't own this land. Just because he has a gun, he said, I took your land. All in there saying the same thing. This is our homeland, our birthright. They don't want any white man comes in here and tell us you have to divide this up this way or that way. It's rotten, it's, uh, it's unfair. Get on with it. See what you did to my people? See what you did to them? You took their very lives away from them. Native American nation, caught in the devastation. Endless situation, what can I do? The ghost of prejudice. The Navajo should have been the richest minority in America. We get money from uranium, from oil, from coal. Instead, they remain one of the poorest. The 10 largest coal strip mines in the country are on Indian land. And we don't have that much land left. We got 4% of our original land base, but we're producing all that coal. The idea was to import energy from this remote area and export the pollution and the health and environmental consequences. And this was the beginning of very intense pressures on the resources on Indian lands. They're losing the thing that is most precious to them, which we might call our soul.